Built during the Great Depression, the 30th Street Station has served for more than 40 years as Philadelphia's principal passenger station. Once used as the headquarters of the Pennsylvania Railroad, the station and its attendant trackage have undergone little change since the completion of their construction in 1934. It entered the National Registrar of Historic Places on June 7, 1978. Hi, I'm Chad, and we're here at uh, 30th Street Station. And uh, I'd like to start off with asking what your name is. Sure, my name is Warren Logan. I've been working with Amtrak since 1986, and I started in the freight railroad back in 1973. So uh, this is my 38th year of railroad. Good job. Um, how long have you worked with the, the railroad? The total time is 38 years, and I've been doing this job in the station manager's position since 19, uh, 2002. 2002. Right. Uh, is there any uh, cool facts about 30th Street Station? That... The nice thing about 30th Street Station is the hub for the transportation for Philadelphia, I think. A lot of good stuff, uh, a lot of historical artwork, a lot of good food in the food courts, and a lot of needs to get around to the different colleges and universities. Okay. Um, would you say that there's a lot of diversity that comes through 30th Street Station? Yeah, there is a lot of diversity that comes through here. We deal with a lot of different type of people uh, from social development as well as financial development groups of people. So there's a great diversity of people that we see come through here. Right. And. Uh, what would you say the impact the city has on 30th Street Station? Well, the impact the 30th Street Station has on the city? Yeah. The city, city wise, what I would say is that we bring a lot, we can transport a lot of people to come into the town for uh, tourism. Uh, we're able to bring people in and out of town to provide new services, uh, allowing Philadelphia to economically grow, I would hope. And um, is there any interesting or crazy things that you want to leave us with that you've dealt with, either today or? Uh, there's just a lot of funny things that happen at the railroad. It's a very interesting place, and as we said, we have a lot of diverse people come through here, and uh, it's always something different every day, um, from people losing their tickets to losing their clothes to, wow. to um, you know, just being people, <laughs> forgetting what train they're on. You know? mm. So that's about it. I mean, it's just a lot of diverse things that happen in the station. Well, thank you, Warren. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Thank you for your time. Come on. Philadelphia financier and philanthropist Anthony J. Drexel realized his vision in 1891 with the establishment of the Drexel Institute of Art, Science, and Industry. Originally a non-degree granting institution, Drexel began conferring the Bachelor of Science degree in 1914 when its 18 departments were organized into four schools. What's your name? I'm Kevin Mattias. How old are you? 19. Freshman? Yes. Drexel. Are you from Pennsylvania or out of state? No, I'm from upstate New York. Why'd you move to Pennsylvania, Philadelphia? Um, the area, like, there's a lot to do in Philadelphia. There's a lot of opportunities. Did you locate, did the location of the University of Drexel have a strong impact on your choice in choosing the school? Yeah, it did, because there's a lot of job opportunities. Do you live here, on campus? Yeah, I live in Myers. Are city services such as transportation and police protection adequate to your needs as a student? Yeah, they are. I feel pretty safe here. That's good. Is there anything crazy or interesting that you've seen happen here? Nothing too crazy. Right. Established in 1919, Drexel's Cooperative Education Program is one of the oldest, largest, and most successful. More than 1,500 companies in 27 states and 12 countries participate in the program. All right, what's your name? Charlotte. Charlotte? Um, how long have you been working here? Um, for two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah. And you're a student on this campus, right? Yes. Okay. Um, any cool facts about the building, like maybe when it was established or...? Um, we just opened last term in January. Okay, so it's pretty recent. Um, what's the diversity like in, in this building or around campus that you've seen? Like, racial? Um, there, like, we have a lot of a diverse campus as it is, but, um, we have a lot of community people that come in too, so I'd say it's pretty diverse. Right, okay. Um, do you live here on campus? Mm hmm Okay. Um, any interesting or crazy things that you've seen around here? Uh, no. Not that I can think of. Okay, seems like a pretty normal building. Yeah. Thanks a lot. All right.
Clark Park is University City's largest park. The park is home to the Clark Park Farmers Market, music festivals, youth soccer, and many other neighborhood events throughout the year. It is located in the heart of University City's National Registrar Historic District and serves as a racially and social economically diverse population for residents, students, University City employees, and visitors. Palton Village was built on land that was held by two families, the Powell family and the Bingham Baring family. Because of this architectural diversity and its social history, Palton Village was placed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1985. Hi, what's your name? I'm Luke. I got a few questions here for you. Are you from Pennsylvania or are you from out of the state? I'm from Pennsylvania. Okay. Did the location of the University of Drexel have a strong impact on your choice in choosing the school? Not really. I was just more concentrated on like the quality of the school. Mm -hmm. Like when you get out, you can get a chance at a really good job and stuff. So. Right. Uh, do you live on or off the campus? On campus. On campus. Um, and are the city services like transportation and police protection adequate to your needs, like as a student? Yeah, I mean, I know you can use a bus and stuff, but luckily I have my car up there, so I don't really have to use it So you, you use your car to get around? Yeah. Okay, thanks a lot. Word.